I think the most important thing about an erection is we just remember everything about the erection is about general good health because essentially when a guy gets an erection, the, what's happening is that there's just an increase in blood flow into the penis. So everything is about increasing the blood flow. And remember, now if you consider the fact that the main blood vessel to the heart is slightly larger than the main blood vessel to the brain, and which is slightly larger than the main blood vessel to the leg, and then you consider that when you have a heart attack, a stroke, or a loss of limb, what's happening is that the blood vessels are getting like a scar inside there, which then blocks the blood, the, the blood going through there, and then you get a clot. So you can imagine if a patient has a problem with an erection or if they have a problem with uh, females in cl clitoral engorgement, what's often happening is it's a prelude to getting a heart attack, stroke, loss of limb. So erectile dysfunction is not a Mickey Mouse disease. It needs to be addressed. And so if you were to think about the things that can benefit the erections, it's exactly the same things that to benefit general health. A bit of exercise. And it doesn't have to be too much. Most of the trials show that you only need to do about 12 minutes of exercise per month. Diet. People think that it's the types of food that's most important. It's not. That's not the real issue. It's the quantities of food. And it's mainly about calories. So for example, if you have two fizzy carbonated drinks, you take in the equivalent of a full meal in calories, but the point is that there's a part of your brain called the satiety center, which doesn't recognize it as food, and so you'll still eat something more. So it's one of the tricks is to cut back on a lot of fructose and sugary things, and the second one is to decrease the plate size, because if you consider that if you were to take your plates to your, your, plates to your grandmother's house today, they're, they won't fit in the cupboard because our plate sizes have increased by 50% over the last 30 years. The third one, no stress, because stress we now know is also a cause of heart attack, strokes, loss of limb, and erectile dysfunction because stress is a hormone basically. It releases hormones into your blood which damage the inside coating of your blood vessel which then cause you to get heart attack, stroke, loss of limb, erectile dysfunction. Not smoking. Smoking, I can't pontificate enough about it. It's the most important social choice a person can get. Smoking increases the risk of every type of disease, and particularly the cancer, then to what we call non-communicable disease, which means this is things like heart attacks, strokes, lothamin, and cancers. Smoking increases all of them. They have to stop that. And then the last one is just to make sure that you be careful about intakes of other substances such as alcohol, drugs and various other things because those can also damage the erection. Remember, keeping to a healthy lifestyle like eating a well-balanced diet, exercising as well as not smoking, drinking in excess and keeping your stress levels down can be part of the preventative measures for erectile dysfunction.